Considering X axis as the internuclear axis, which of the following will not form a sigma bond and why? Now, this is a beautiful and a conceptual question. Why? Because it motivates you to visually imagine how exactly is a form, uh, how exactly is a bond formed. Let's take a look. We are told that X axis is the axis along which the orbitals are going to approach. And if you have S orbitals, approaching along x axis actually x orbitals are round spherical they may approach along any axis it doesn't matter and do i get a sigma bond yes i get a sigma bond so yes it will form a sigma bond yeah 1s and 2px let me check 1s looks like this and 2px well it looks like this if they overlap, will they form a bond? Well, I dare say they very much will, like this. So this is sigma sp overlap. Please note the orbital, the portion of orbital which overlaps becomes bigger and the other portion shrinks and it becomes smaller. So this is before the formation of bond and this is after the formation of bond. This is 1s and 2px. Now, is it forming a sigma bond? Yeah, very much. And then we have C option, 2py and 2py. Now, how do we judge this? Let's see. This is x-axis. So, 2py is like this. And 2py is again like this and if they're coming close and if they're overlapping what do I get I get well I actually get a pi bond if you just see I get a pi bond you might feel that I have drawn p orbitals differently normally people don't draw them like this but these are more accurate x-axis is this Otherwise, the way people draw it is this. They just draw flower petals, PY and PY, like this. You can draw this also. This is perfectly fine. I mean, this is acceptable standard. But again, keep your head very clear. P orbitals look like this. And this is usually the way pi orbitals, yeah, pi a bond looks like. So is it giving me a sigma bond? No. It's giving me a pi bond. So not form a sigma. So C is not forming a sigma bond. What about D? 1s and 2s? Doesn't matter. S is always spherical. 1s and 2s. 2s is just bigger. But will I get a sigma bond? I get a sigma bond. So A, B and D will give me a sigma. C will not give me a sigma. Rather, it will give me a pi bond. This is the answer with complete orbital overlap diagrams and the explanation.